This is Jim from Absolute Control Irrigation Specialists. I want to welcome you to our channel, another episode of Tips from the Swamp. In this video, I'm going to go over how to program a PAR24 controller to be used as a standalone satellite without communication so it works as an independent unit. The first thing I want to do in this programming is I want to make sure that there's no residual information. And to do that, I need to wipe out the memory on the clock and set it back to where it was when it came from the factory. And to do that, I press the System Information button, which is down at the bottom here, until the display reads Self Test. Then I'm going to press in a 1-2 order, Start System Information. What that does is it kicks it into a different area and it will now read keypad test. If I scroll through system information, what I'm looking for is the readback that says cold start par. And I press start and this unit will now completely reset back to what it was when it came out of the factory. It takes out any memory of anything in it, so it's now completely empty and we now need to set up a program. First step in that is setting the clock. So I press set clock. I turn it to the right day of the week. Next I use the right arrow button and I set it for time. And I'm going to say that it's 2.30 in the afternoon. And this is military time so that would be 14.30. So it's 14.30, press clock status, and that verifies that it now knows that it's Thursday at 2.30 in the afternoon, or 14.30. Next, I need to establish run times. Now, I'm going to break my run times down for different areas that I'm watering. I'm going to pretend I'm dealing with a golf course, and my first concern are my greens, and I'm going to set those up on Schedule A. So they're separate from the T's, which will be on Schedule B, and the fairways, which will be on Schedule C. So first I need to set my run times. To do that, I press the Run Time button. You'll notice it lights up Schedule A, Station 1. I need to scroll over, put some time on Station 1, then I scroll back to where the 1 is flashing. I go with the up arrow to Station 2. Scroll over and put time on Station 2. We'll go back, scroll up to number 3. Go over, put time on number 3. Go back, scroll up to number 4. Key over, put time on number 4. And remember that that first zero that's flashing right now, that's an hour. So we don't want to set those unless you want to run a real long time. So now we go back over to four. Now, we've just set up run times on stations one through four. There's no run times on any other station. Now if I scroll over to my B program, station one shows no run time, which is the way I want it to be. I need to actually get to station five, so I use the up arrow. Scroll to Station 5, key over, put time on Station 5, because this is my first T head. Scroll back, go up to Station 6, go over and put time on Station 6. Go back, go up to Station 7, key over, put time on Station 7. And now I'm done with my T's on B schedule. Now I want to go to C schedule for my fairways. So I key to C. Now, I don't want to put time on stations 1, 2, 3, or 4 because they will run during both the A and C cycle. And I just want them on the A cycle. Same thing with 5, 6, and 7. I want those on B only. 
So now I need to go up to my first fairway head, which is actually number station number eight. So I key up to seven and then eight. I go over and put time on that station. Back over, go up to nine, key back over, put run time on nine. Go back, go up to 10, go over, and put run time on 10. I'm going to hit clock status at this point. Now, I have separated my greens to schedule A, my tees to schedule B, and my roughs, excuse me, my fairways to schedule C. Now I need to set up start times for these particular zones. So if I press start time, it's telling me start one, schedule A, this is my greens, and I want them to start, if I scroll over, I want to start them at 6 a.m. in the morning. So I set that for 6 o'clock in the morning. Now, scroll back. Now I go to program B. These are my T heads, and I want those to start at 3 o'clock in the morning. So I will scroll over. This is start one, not station one. So I will scroll over, and I will put in 3 a.m. in the morning. Just 300 hour. Key back, and again I go to station, excuse me, Start time 3 of Schedule C, and we'll start that at 1 a.m. in the morning. Remember, this is our fairways. Press clock status. I have now entered my start times for my three different schedules, three different watering areas, greens, tees, and fairway. Now I just need to set up what days of the week I want them to operate. So I press start days, and on schedule A, it's set to water every day. And that's what I want to do, because that's my greens. Now I'll go to my B schedule, these are my T's, and I want them to operate only on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So when it's flashing on Sunday, I hit down, and that takes Sunday off. Go to Monday, Tuesday, it's flashing, I want Tuesday off. Wednesday I want to leave on, Thursday is an off, Friday I leave on, Saturday I turn off. And now on program C, which are my fairways, they don't need much water and I'm only going to water those on Tuesday and Thursdays. So on Sunday I turn it off, I key over to Monday, I turn it off, I leave Tuesday on, Go to Wednesday and turn it off. Leave Thursday on. I go to Friday. I turn it off. Go to Saturday. Turn it off. And now that is set. And now I press my clock status. Okay, at this point I have now set up my schedules to water my greens, tees, and fairways separate from each other. And as long as these one schedule doesn't overlap another, they're fine. If the schedule one schedule does overlap the other schedule, we'll have two zones running instead of just one. I hope you have enjoyed this video and that it was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our new videos. We also appreciate your comments and suggestions. Remember, we'll provide you with a shipping label by email if you desire us to repair your equipment, and we promise a quick turnaround on all repairs. To get in touch with us so that we can get you the labels and your repair work, visit us on our website at www.absolute-control.com. Thank you from Gator with Tips from the Swamp at Absolute Control Irrigation Specialists.